you guys, this is Shaw Kirby 707 and welcome to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we explored a little bit of Rogapori and we battled with a tough enemy or opponent named Gus and we found Professor Frankly who told us about the Crystal Star in the Thousand Year Door. But in order to find the Crystal Star, or the, yeah, to find the Thousand Year Door, we need the magical map which we do have in our disposal which Professor Peach gave us. Anyways, in this part, we're gonna find this thousand year door. Alright, so let's go out here and. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came up, did you? Heh <laughs> <laughs> Stay true to this nature. I love this game. <laughs> How it has, like, paper. Uh, paper physics, as you can say. We can use this part to get down under, under the streets. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot talk. Alright. Anyways. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. Alright, so frankly, he's interrupting me. What? I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hooligans below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your actual commands? Yes, I do. I do know about it. Really? Master, are you? Yeah. No thanks, I'm good. I know about it. I'll explain it. Or pretty much I already did explain in the first episode. There's timing, so yeah. Alright, anyways, before we go, I believe there's a star piece around here? Nope. Oh, I guess not. Okay, I thought there was a star piece here. Maybe I'm thinking about the other side. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you do have to look around for star pieces, but we are good here for now. And don't worry, frankly, we'll come. We just gotta go down the pipe and he will appear right next to us. So anyways, we are underneath Rogapur. This is the underground city of Rogapur. Alright, so before we go on, let's check on the left side of Rogapur. Not much that we can explore, but uh, unfortunately this pillar is blocking our way so we can't exactly get through. I believe there's a star piece behind this pillar. Yes, there is. Alright, I think that's the fourth one. I don't know. I already lost count already. <laughs> don't worry, a future me will edit it in the star piece count. And if we go inside this house, this is... Uh, if you explain your name, I believe her name is Merly or Merlovely. I don't know which one. Merlovely, the lovely fortune teller. So yeah, Merlovely's also in this game. I believe Merlovely was... Um... In the first game, in the Shooting Star Summit. So, yeah, so some of the. I guess you could say the Merlin folks are in this game as well, but with a different design. So, if you talk to Merlovely, she can actually aid you with either finding your next path, which is pretty much like what's your next part in the story, or the next path in this game, like the main objective. She goes up Fine Star Piece for you and Shining Sprite, but I'm not gonna do either of those, so. Uh, if I do miss Star Piece at the end of this game, then I might use her, but I don't really need to use her right now. Uh, not much we can do in the left side of the underground city, but let's go on through. Hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? Who said that? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fun-looking Goomba doing with a tubby message like man like that. Oh, it's like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously? Yeah, a guy like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. Well, you're too good for us. Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Oh, jeez. The punks. Wow. <laughs> Goombella, uh, you're pretty much getting hit on by these Goombas. A Goomba, a spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. Well, not this necessarily. There's other Goomba types, but we'll get into that much, much, much later in the game. Uh, spiky Goombas, you cannot stomp on them because, well, they have spikes on their head. And Paragoombas, Goombas, you cannot use hammers on them because they're up in the air, so you need to jump on them. Alright. Uh, before we do, though, uh, oh yeah, right. You can actually press Y to switch your partner, so that's actually a nice little tactic. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna use, uh, Tattle on the Goomba. Alright, so a title on Goomba, and that's a Goomba, yeah, pretty basic, um, it says they have Goombas are underlings, so I'm underlining that, totally rude. Okay, so they have 2 HP, attack power is 1, and defense is 0. Okay, not too bad, let's take care of this Goomba right now. Alright, there we go. <laughs> if you do actual command correctly, and I did not do that at that time, but I did counter that, um, what you call it, the, uh, the Paragoomba, my goodness. Alright, <clears throat> since the Karagoomba has 1 HP left, I might as well just tower before it faints, or dies. So pretty much just like the Goomba, you know, same HP, same attack. Can't use Hammer because it's up in the air, but that's okay. 
All right, take care of the Paragoomba. All right, and there we go, counter, haha. -ha. I was trying to counter the first time, but I failed. Anyway, the last kind of Goomba is the Spike Goomba. Obviously, you can't jump on it because it has a spiky head, so you need to use a hammer to, to use it, to defeat it. Max HP is two, attack is two, because, well, it has a spike, so it does extra damage. Alrighty, so anyways, I'll let you take care of it with a hammer, and that's pretty much it. Pretty basic, nothing too hard at all. <laughs> um, as for the battles, um, if they're too long, I will cut it out unless we get a new enemy, but otherwise, we'll be fine here. Owie! Ha, yeah, run away, you jerks. Ha, later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll have all of it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Yeah, so you can actually get a first strike on the field. If you either hammer or jump on an enemy, you can actually get the first attack, which is actually very helpful. You do not want the enemy attacking you, because otherwise they'll get the first attack on you. So try your best not to get attacked first by the enemy. But anyways, uh, we can't really do much on the right side of this portion, but we can go on this lift and actually go onto the pipe. And you guys really fell. Wow. You guys are not really good platformers, apparently. <laughs> Alright. On to the next section of the Underground City. We're just getting deeper and deeper. Alright, so we've got another Goomba here. We can strike first with it. And there's only one Goomba, so I'm not going to cut it out. If the battle seems too long, then I'll cut it out, but otherwise it's not too bad. I mean, normally I don't really cut much battles out. I mean, it's just I'll get them done quickly, so... There's not going to be much cutting out battles, because most of these enemies are pretty much easy to defeat. And plus, I'm going to show more of Mario's actual commands and Goombella's attack. I don't think we showed Goombella's attack at all. We haven't showed her head bump ability just yet. But we'll get into that later on. I mean, there's plenty of opportunity to show Gumbilla's attacks. Anyways, now we get I mean, we got another mushroom, which heals 5 HP. We got a uh, spike Goomba, which can attack with a hammer. Pretty easy. <laughs> we just get we can one shot these guys in the battle, so it's not too bad. Uh, those stylish commands I'll explain later. Uh, once we get to a certain point in this game. Not too far though. And we got a fire flower, which is really handy. And we got these blocks here, but before we go on, let's go over here and explore what's on this side. And uh, nothing really, we got a big switch here and a big block, which we cannot destroy or jump on. So we cannot do this area right now. But instead we can go over here and destroy these blocks and go on deeper into underground. <laughs> Um, I believe there were... Oh, there you go. There's a store piece right behind this block, so you gotta kind of look around there for a moment. Oh, what the heck? It's finally a tiny little enemy, or little creature. I'm not sure if the enemy or not, but speaking of enemies, we got a new enemy here. This guy has three HP, so we don't want to hit this guy, but let's use Gumbella first and tattle this enemy. I believe it's called Spinia. Yep, Spinia. A totally weird creature made of thin, peppery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. And the attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hiya! Alrighty then. Alright, so we can actually just one shot this guy. Well, not really one shot this guy, more like two shot this guy. <laughs> Alright, so we have three experience points from that. Another new enemy. It's actually a new enemy in this game, so this is a new enemy introduced in. Oh, I got struck first. That's not good. Well, there we go. Well, at least we can show off um, Goombella's head bomb ability, because we haven't seen that yet. But head bomb is just like Gumbario's um, attack in the first game. You pretty much. Just like a jump ability, just press A at the right time, and you will get, you know, your damage onto the enemy. Uh, Head Bounce is not really... Well, I mean, it's useful in the first game, but... Or, in the first part of this game, but... Eh, most enemies you can get hit with a Head Bounce, but if there's defense, well... Eh, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, now, around this area, there's actually an invisible block here, if I can find it. It may take a little bit of time, but I know there's an invisible block here. It's invisible, so finding it may be... might take a while. <laughs> there we go. 
go. Found it. <laughs> Found it. There we go. All right. So, anyways, we got a new a new badge, which is pretty lucky. Um, I don't think we can put on badges right now. I don't think you'll. Actually, we can. Never mind. All right. So we can't put badges right now. So you, our first badge was actually pretty lucky. Um, when Mario's attack cause enemies to sometimes miss. That is actually very handy. So I'll put that off for now. And as you can see over there, we see a black key. I think I might want to get that. You need to hit the switch, and this will activate stairs. All right. And I like how in the when you press switches or do or, or when you solve a puzzle, it does like a little papery effect, which is really cool because I like how it kind of stays true to its nature. This game, which is called Paper Mario. And if you got a black key, a strange black key, but what could it be for? I wonder. Well, we'll find out in this episode. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, let's go on up here and go through the doorway. And this side here. We find a black chest. How very mysterious. Let's go near it. Whoa! What? Who's talking? Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero legend. Uh, me? Only the great hero legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else? Nothing. Really now? Seeing Mongo, an evil spirit has a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Er, uh, Mario, what with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. You idiot! Well, drat! I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. A black key, black key, black chest. Makes sense. But what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I have a key, so we don't even know what's in this box. It could be bad or it could be good. We'll never find out unless we open this chest. Come on, being stuck in the box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, if it's calling me a great legendary hero, let's open it, because I think this chest will give me something great. Whoa, 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 you brought the key? Yes, oh man, I owe you big. All right, let's open it up with the black key. Yes, think, ha, think nothing. Wee, fools. Oh, we just got duped. Great. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly, buggly, woo! You curse! Oh man. What's this guy's problem, really? Wee! Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you're turned into a paper airplane. Wee hee! Ain't traveling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse! Wee hee 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 hee! Oh, I can help but, Chordo, you're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Granny, if you stand on an airplane panel like this one, this floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel now. Try pressing Y, and then BAM, you're a paper airplane. So we press Y, we turn into a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must use tilt left or right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, he's so dead. What was that? No, I'm not gonna say that, because she'll explain the tutorial again. Yes, I get it. That's terrible. Whoa. B he and press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. B he he. Wow, what was that about? So, uh oh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? <laughs> you tell me, Gumbella. Okay, so we got cursed. Yeah, um, <laughs> air quotes uncursed. So yeah, now we have a new. Ability, I guess, which is the paper airplane ability. If we see a paper airplane um uh, panel that's glowing, we can actually use it. So you tilt left and right to um, steer, I guess, and there we go. 
Check, trust me, just turn back to normal, and we are here on the upper part of this wall, I guess. And inside here, find a mysterious place. Could this be the thousand year door? Possibly. Let's see what Franklin has to say. Oh, Mario, Gambella, look at that! Is that the thousand year door? It's a thousand year door spoken of the legend! I can't believe it, it's real! So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Alrighty then. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can get here right now. Yeah, there's nothing we can get here. There's a save block, but I can't do anything in this place whatsoever. Anyways, let's go a little bit closer. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Well, let's get a little closer. Whoa, shiny light coming through. Okay, what is going on? What is the meaning of this? Frankly, what is this? Professor, what's going on? Okay, shining light on the map. Uh, what's going on here? I'm a little spooked out by this. Not really. This actually looks really cool, to be honest. And plus, I like the camera view of this, this sequence, which is really awesome. Anyway, blinded by the light, we are shown by the map. But, the map has shown us a new location. It seems to be some sort of big castle. And it shows us a star. Hmm. How intriguing. I love that effect, by the way, that tapery effect. That was, that was really cool. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Hmm, interesting. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal star has appeared. And that shiny light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Sounds like a good plan, Professor. Alright, back at Frankly's place. Hmm, aha, I see. See what? You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario cannot perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Um, uh, yeah, I can give it another tutorial. No thanks, I'll explain it later on. No thanks, I'm good. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright then. Let's have a look at that. So yeah, I'll explain about the crystal stars later. Magical map, see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map has a radar-like function that now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogerport. To tell you the truth, I always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to, the, to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach. From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent you this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's her. So it is her! Your princess came to me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm? But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, let's settle. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, the first priority was to catch up to her. Collecting the crew star is a mean to the end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? 
No, I'll stay in town and ask you about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a sugar old goober like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Alright, so anyway, we're off to adventure. Alright, so let's head on through. But before we do, we are interrupted by Franklin once again. Wait just a moment! And we get another badge! This is the Power Smash. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. This badge is really helpful. I like this badge a lot. Mario, it's scary out there. <laughs> it's dangerous to go out low. Take this with you. Kind of a little reference to Zelda. Sort of. It's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge and it's incredibly useful. Well, we already did get a badge underneath the city or town. Alright, so yeah, depending on what you equip, you can actually be more powerful. And no things, once again, no tutorial. So many tutorials in this game. Okay, so yeah, anyways, if you use a badge, depending like an attack badge, it uses a P. Same thing with a uh, partner's abilities, but we'll get to that later on once we get another party member. Before we end the episode, I am going to equip the badge, um, Power Smash. So yeah, it requires two AP to use. But it has a lot of attack power, which is really, really great. In this game, you can actually stack up badges. Like, if you have the same badge, like this one, you can actually stack up the power, which is really awesome. But we're going to end it here, guys. So next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we will go to Petal Meadows and fly Princess Peach and the Crystal Star. So, I will see you guys then. So, this is Shaw Kirby 707 saying bye!